and we found that S1 and uh, higher order brain region, M2, secondary motor cortex, make a reverberating circuit. It's a kind of ping pong circuit. I'm very interested in how neural activity creates a subjective experience such as perception. Only the sense of touch perception among the all senses can affect physical interaction between people. We can have a touch perception on all surface of our body. So that's the reason enough to stimulate my curiosity. When we touch something, we can tell a lot about this object, such as its temperature and the texture. Very surprisingly, the scientists don't know at what point during the information flow in the brain the perception of touch arises. In this study, we explore the circuit, information flow, and the operation mechanisms of sensory perception. It was already known that the skin information, for example, from hand, is sent to primary small sensory cortex called S1. And then this S1 area also sends information to higher order brain region. And we found that the S1 and the higher order brain region here, the secondary motor cortex called M2, make a reverberating circuit. It's a kind of ping pong circuit, meaning that the information is sent the back and forth between the two areas. The sensory stimulation, for example, hand stimulation, evoked temporarily distinct two activities, the first activity and the late activity. The late activity comes from M2 to S1 area. When we block the late activity, then the animal cannot have accurate sensory perception. So this means that if you block my weight component, weight activity, then I don't understand whether this surface is rough or smooth. So our basic finding is that the feedback information in the circuit is essential for accurate sensory perception. We use a variety of methods to comprehensively understand circuit information flow and operation mechanisms of sensory perception. One of the crucial method is controlling neural activity by optogenetics. In this study, we used HT, which is a light sensitive ion pump, and works to inhibit the neural activity. By using HT, we can inhibit specific neurons with light. When we inactivate feedback signals in the reverberating circuit, then the mouse cannot have accurate sense of perception of touch. Neural circuit mechanisms for sensory perception is not as simple as we previously imagined. So far, I don't know why the brain has a, such a complex circuit or the complex strategy for perception, because it takes energy to maintain the circuit and also takes time for perception to take place. But there must be reason for the complex circuit. I am very keen to find out why the brain has such a complex circuit. That's the next step.